All right, so here's a little video. This is Harold coming at you, and uh, y'all have heard me reference to this plant a lot. And this, let me get back a little bit. I reference as my box of chocolates. That's an earth box that it's in, so I feed it from the bottom. And what it is, from left to right, is a chocolate habanero, chocolate maruga scorpion, and then another chocolate habanero. I had these plants and I decided, you know, I'm going to experiment with them. And I've been feeding them grow big since they were just little. You know, and I, like again, I mix it into the bottom so they've been sucking this nutrients up since I started. And I'll do a little 360 around it. And you'll look in here, you'll see these little pods everywhere. Off the chocolate habanero in here, you can see them. The, notice the green foliage, I mean this thing is just so healthy. I get literally no leaf drop on this plant. You look around it and you'll see pods in there like those gnarly looking pods those are coming off of my chocolate maruga I'm gonna go around the other side here look at the top of it just you can't even see through it it's so dense you know I get very little um, flower drop on it very very little I get some of the pods that are in here just nasty looking gnarly and again those are part of the chocolate marugas you see in there pods like that one down in there you see them and get that leaf back out of the way and you know and so on they're just like over, everywhere you can see those green pods in there and I move over and you see my chocolate habaneros in here little surprise under here there's some more chocolate habaneros I don't know that light's not great right there but I'll get around maybe I can get a better view of them look at all the flowers on it just ridiculous you know it's just the massive growth of this thing in this in this earth box see and that's the product right there got that little weep hole and I feed it through a tube right over there into the bottom and I get all these nasty looking pods look at those gorgeous chocolate habanero pods loaded up and the chocolate maruga is just loaded up you can see them in there look at them all just crazy so uh, if you've ever seen that fox farm grow big uh, and it's and it's kind of pricey, but I mean, heck, look at the results. These are this is one massive plant from one end to the other, just thick. And these plants, I mean, I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at the stock on that thing. And down here, the the stock on this chocolate maruga. All right, this is first year growth. Look at this. Down here, the stock on that maru on that chocolate habanero, just solid. And this is all just first year growth. And that's using that Fox Farm Grow Big. I just want to show you guys my chocolate, my box of chocolates, as I, as I re reference to it. You'll see it a lot because I'm. This is one of my best plants out here. I mean, not forsaking my gorgeous reaper plant here. I didn't want to, you don't think I'd disclude that one with all its nasty pods on it. Look at that thing. They had nasty pods in there. Awesome. That's one of the best pods on it right now. But I mean, even my reaper, I started feeding it with the grow big as well. Doing the same thing. And my Aleppo loaded up with pods but yeah the star of this video is my box of chocolates and this is growing up here in Washington State so I'll let you know you know you can grow pepper plants like this anywhere 
just got to take care of them. That's all. All right, well, this is Harold. I just wanted to show you and give you a reference to my box of chocolates. Everybody have a good day out there and happy growing.